<clears throat> hey, it's Adam. So if you recall, uh, about five months ago, Logan Paul uh, kind of took the world by storm and started buying a ton of Pokemon cards. I participated in his first live stream. Over the next few months, Logan Paul continued to spend money on these Pokemon cards. And what do you know? They kept going up in value. $11,000 for a booster pack that used to cost $4. First edition base set has sold at an auction $408,000. When it seemed like Pokemon had hit its peak, Logan Paul was no longer interested. He did something pretty crazy. I'm going to buy every single first edition box on the planet. And uh, he sold the world's first first edition base booster box for over a million bucks. Uh, I was crazy enough in buying three of those very expensive packs. It cost me like two, just over two Bitcoin, I think. He opened my three packs and uh, Chansey was my notable best card. Okay, here it is. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Charmander in there, which I was pretty stoked about because in his first live stream, I got a Bulbasaur, a Squirtle, and a Pikachu. So uh, I have the entire starter set in uh, in this first edition kind of mint condition from Logan Paul, which is pretty sick. So his team sent the box to PSA, and here they are. Figured we'd open them on camera, and uh, let's see how they came back. Here they are. I'm kind of nervous. From Mr. Logan Paul. These are all of the common cards. This is my exuberant shout out. Oh, it's Adam O'Brien. Adam O'Brien, oh, this is my guy. Oh, here we, we got go. three packs. That Charmander, pretty, uh, pretty sick. Here they are. First card. Fancy PSA 10, baby. Okay, it's got that special Logan Paul, Logan Paul break, first ed, Chansey, PSA 10, first edition. Only two of these in the entire world. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed when there's a second Chansey pull, but uh, this is, this is pretty special, I think. And then this is going to be the Alakazam, perfect 10. Boom, baby. So. Both the ones that got the minted first edition Logan Paul break are uh, both graded in 10. Um, that was important because only cards that graded in a 10 um, got that special tag. So that's pretty flippin' cool. There you have it. Here's me back where it all began in the wood paneled room at the lake. It seems like potentially the end of an era. I'm not sure if this is the end of my Pokemon era. I definitely went a little bit overboard buying Pokemon cards. I bought a couple of boxes. I'm thinking I would like to do a box break. If you're interested in that, please subscribe. Comment down below if you're interested. And uh, with enough interest, I will definitely uh, be hitting that box break up. I'm gonna be working a lot on producing a lot more content, Bitcoin related content to teach you guys how Bitcoin works, what you can do with Bitcoin, how to store Bitcoin securely and all that kind of good stuff. So as always, thank you for joining me on this journey. This was a really interesting one, kind of six to eight months of <laughs> diving into the Pokemon space. Uh, secretly, I kind of hope the other guy's Chansey wasn't a 10. I don't know if I'll ever know if it was or not, but that'd be pretty epic. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Bro, so I, I warned you, man. I told you the packs. I was like, hey, man, these could go. Dude. <laughs> what did I say? I said like 20K. I was like, they could go for like 20K. Dude. I know, and they went for double that. I was like, I was kind of into it at 20. I saw them going like 20, 25, and then like, I was like, okay, like 25 is cool. And then I was like, 30 and I was like okay 30 is fun <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like seeing uh, like my Facebook is just like inundated with Pokemon right now and I'm yeah. seeing people posting screenshots and one guy like what was the most expensive pack was it 44 grand 40, dude that's nuts